have to talk about something very, very serious today. Um, something that affects a lot of people. And that's addiction. Crochet addiction. <laughs> you guys have no idea how often I think of crochet. How often I wish I was crocheting when I'm doing something else like dishes or laundry, cleaning the house, eating. I, I just think about it all the time. <laughs> I'm addicted to crochet. I'm also addicted to getting a deal on crochet items and that's what this video is about. So if you'd like to see cool deals that I got on some crochet items and you'd like to see the review stick around <laughs> and I promise I won't do any more theatrics <sighs> I'm just so happy to be a crocheter <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to the channel in case you're new here this is the crochet critic channel where we review all crochet products I'm gonna leave timestamps for if you want to skip all of this chit chat, I'm super excited today. I went to the craft store and I got the biggest sale. I think I literally almost had a conniption out in the parking lot at the clearance rack and I, I went crazy. I bought so many things. I am not kidding. And I'm so excited to share them with you today. And then we're going to do a review on the biggest, most exciting thing I got for sale at the craft store. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to go through them really super fast. If any of you guys are crocheters or knitters, which I'm guessing if you're watching the channel, you probably are. I know everyone's familiar with leisure art books. They're expensive. You go into Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's and, you know, just this one little book was $5.99. And it's super thin. It's only nine patterns. I got all of these books for a dollar each. I'm not kidding. It, my mind was blown. I was so excited. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is Knitter's Dictionary. This one was t just by itself. I bought this online. This is a $20 book. Look how small it is. But I got it for a dollar. Discount for a dollar. Oh my god. Granny squares, dishcloths, you know, everything you want to know about crocheting that you don't didn't already know. Oh my god. My husband went into the store and after like 30 minutes he came out and he told me, are you done yet? <laughs> because I couldn't stop buying. And then check out all of these books. Bam. Oh my god, look at that. That's such a gigantic stack of books. I'm not kidding, you have granny squares. How do, look at those giant books. Oh, this one is about like, um, kind of like Tunisian crochet Afghans. Oh my god, this one was... I've been wanting to get this book for a long time. The patterns in here are gorgeous, but I'm a broke person. I have no money. <laughs> We're literally broke. My husband and I have been scrimping and saving for years. And when you see a $20 book, it's you for a dollar. I'm not kidding. I nearly passed out. I am not kidding you guys. I nearly passed out. If the deals would have been any better I would have had to leave on a stretcher to the hospital <laughs> I was so excited afghans knit accessories six sweater patterns for a dollar weaving I don't do a lot of weaving but it's still yarn so I'm excited encyclopedia of knitting and like pretty much like thread crochet tatting all of these were a dollar if I would have paid full price for all of these books it would have cost me like 200 250 dollars just for the books but get this there's more. There is more. I know you guys have probably seen these boy ergonomic crochet hook holders. I did not do a review on these because it was a used one. It, I guess the craft store was selling it and it was missing one of the holders so I didn't do a review. It's okay. It's not, it's not the best ergonomic crochet hook ever but it's okay. Stitch Marker City. If anyone's ever bought stitch markers before they are not cheap. Four to seven dollars a pack, depending on where you live, depending on how much money you want to spend. It's not cheap, but I got these for a dollar each. I also got a Susan Bates Luxite Q hook for two dollars. And I looked it up online. It's they can go as cheap as three fifty, but mostly it's like up to ten dollars, up to eleven sometimes. So I also got this mini knitter. I paid three dollars for this. 
This is made by Doris. So if you guys have ever used like safety eyes, Doris makes a lot of safety eyes that I highly recommend. They're the best brand of safety eyes to me. This on their website is $28. I was like, my jaw dropped and probably hit the floor like when I saw that when I only paid $3 for this brand new. The most exciting thing, when I saw this, I'm not kidding. If there would have been anybody there, I would have knocked them down to get to this, but I'm so excited to present to you guys what the review today is going to be about. The Hook Nook. The Hook Nook brand is a fairly new brand and I'm happy to see that it's a woman owned business. So that's good. That's wonderful. I'm very excited because I'm trying to run my own woman owned business. So I'm excited to do a review about these today, but I just wanted to let you guys see it and see how much I paid for it. So this is their notions kit. On their website, it's $20. I paid $3 for this. I thought I have to get it. That's the top thing I'm just, I just dove for it pretty much. These are their enamel pins that say, I'm hooked on you, yarn attic crochet is cool, which it is. Then next I got their brooches. I got them for a dollar each. Originally, this one is $10 on their website. This one I could not find on their website, but I'm guessing based off the other prices, it's also around $10. So I got those to review to see if they're worth the $10. Oh man, I saw this and I thought I have to get it. I just have to get it. Okay, this is the Hook Nook Loom Knitting Set. I paid $10 for this and on their website it's $20. So I'll be also telling you if I think that's worth it or not. <laughs> and last but not least, the Hook Nook Project Travel Bag. I got this immediately when I saw this because it was only $3 in the clearance section at the craft store. Who's going to pass that up? A project bag and it has spots for your crochet hooks. No one's going to pass that up. I, I Raise your hand if you're going to, but I, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going to pass it up. But the original price was $40. <sighs> I am not kidding you guys. I love a deal. I love going to garage sales. I love going to the Goodwill. I love going to find places like the Salvation Army or anything and you find crochet hooks or you find anything, clearance aisles, you go to the craft store and they have a big clearance section of yarn. That's my favorite thing to do. I love it. It's, it's just great. Especially when you realize, when you look it up later online, that originally something was like $40 or 50, 20, 30, anything, and you you realize, oh, I only paid a dollar for that? Whoa! Whoa! So these are the hooks that I got. These were sadly not on sale. They were not on sale. It's the 5.5 millimeter and the 6 millimeter, both very beautiful colors. And then there's the end weaver, which is kind of like a pearlescent type color. So I just got them because I thought if I already have all of this hook nook stuff that's pretty cheap, why not get a couple of hooks to review because I'm eager to see if it's worth your money. I'm going to get right into the review. I know you guys are antsy and wondering. Let's get started on the review. <laughs> Hook nook. We'll find out if you're really worth $40 per bag. Let's get right into it. All right, so this part of the video is the actual review of just the hook nook. So we're gonna take a look at everything and see if it's worth your money, if you guys should buy it, and if they're good products. So Notions Kit, 25 pieces from the hook nook. All right, let's open it. So here it is. If we close it, it's kind of kind of rough to close at the moment, but it has a little hook nook symbol on here. It's a little scratched looking. I think it's supposed to look kind of worn. Oh. Ooh, there's a spot here. So I can already tell here that the measuring tape's pretty thick. The other parts are pretty thin. This is nice fabric on the edge here. The zipper is plastic. It's not metal. This part is metal. This is metal. Okay, so it comes with scissors. Plasticky type scissors. Pretty sharp. Look at these little stitch markers. Okay, so this is like all like plastic that's sewn in here. So it makes a little pocket, but it's all plasticky. Okay, so I can see that they're little metal pieces, kind of like metal wire that's wrapped around. Um, I can tell that that's probably gonna get caught on really fuzzy yarn. It's not gonna be like an easy release like normal stitch markers. 
This has kind of like a sharp edge on it and a sharp edge on the inside. But I can tell that that's just a little cheap. It's cute though. It's very cute. The, the design's very pretty. Let's check out this one. Some darning needles. Those feel pretty good. They're bent. So there's four in there. One, two, three, four. It's hard to see this little edge here to put this in. So I feel like if you're in a hurry, you might accidentally just like drop it in this little thing here that holds the lip. And you think you put it in and you didn't. So that's one problem that, that could pop up. Okay, comes with a little measuring tape. This is actually kind of cute. This has inches on one side, centimeters on the other. Let's see how far it goes. 150 centimeters and 60 inches. Oh, that's not bad. There's like a little button in here. And the design's nice. It's like fake leather. As you guys can see, this is made of felt. Another thing is, is this here, you might have to add another one if you have if you're working on a project with multiple hooks. So overall feels pretty flimsy. It feels very flimsy. I don't know what that is, if it's mold or something. I mean, it matches the bag. I'm not really enjoying the thin plastic here. It seems kind of cheap. It's very pretty and it's unique and I'm excited that they're making it, but it's very, very cheap and not very sturdy. <laughs> and the stitch markers, I can tell I'm gonna get irritated with those. This looks like the most expensive thing out of the whole case. I kind of feel like just spending the money on a zipper and the felt, I mean, you can make this yourself for probably less than $5. Now we're going to look at the brooches. Okay, here we go. That's very pretty. If we're going to take them out. Oh my goodness. While I was taking that out, this got caught on the plastic piece right here and totally ripped off. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, strong is not the word for this, but I don't know. That sucks. Oh man, that's super thin. How did that even do that? That's ridiculous. I guess you can see those are kind of cheap. So I wish they would have said crochet, knit, I don't know, yarn, something that said yarn, something like that. More identifying features for that. Next, we're gonna go over the enamel pins. One says, I'm hooked on you, and it's a hexagon shape. One says, yarn addict, kind of a rectangle. This one says, crochet is cool. So these are very pretty. They feel very thick and heavy duty. The metal looks pretty good. This is kind of like cheap plastic. It's not the type that you pinch and it grabs on. I mean, they kind of have the little edge there on the pin for that metal type that pinches at the top here. If you really love these, don't wear them where they're going to fall off very easily because that would be very sad. But that's very pretty. I'm hooked on you. So see that plays back into crochet hook, crochet hook, yarn addict. That plays into something. Crochet is cool. That all plays into it. But when you have something that says like brave or strong, that could be anybody. Anybody can be brave and strong, not just crocheters. Okay. This one that says crochet is cool is kind of missing some of the black on the C for crochet and all on the inside. There's like bubbles. You see that? This is probably my favorite one. The crochet is cool. And look at all those bubbles. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look, when they coated it, they got an air bubble underneath. I think I could probably pick that off if I wanted to. I don't want to. I'm going to leave it like that. But, ah. Oh. Okay, next is the bag. It can function as a purse, as a transfer bag, anything you need. Okay, let's take a look at the straps. So, fake leather. They feel a little bit stretchy, like you could actually probably stretch that out and it would actually hurt it. Pretty strong though still, I mean like, it's not really budging, but you can see where my hand was pulling right here. Felt, oh and by the way, this is all felt. This is like a thick gray felt. It also has the hook nook gold symbol on the bottom. Normally on purses you would have like four legs, like one, two, three, four. This just has two. They're not really legs. They're kind of like little plastic heads. It looks like little buttons. There's no zipper across the top. Kind of just has a little metal piece here, but look. Oh, I can unscrew that. Ooh, that's not something you want. And it attaches with just like an elastic. So this is like a hair tie type thing on the other side that attaches here. So if your bag's not really that full, it's probably just going to pop open. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but honestly, I don't really like project bags that don't zip. You don't want anything to fall out, especially if you're carrying around a very expensive crochet hook, 
or a very expensive yarn. Okay, it has a zipper pocket on this side. Yeah, it goes all the way down to the bottom. This zipper is like a cheap plastic zipper. If you have yarn in here, this is gonna get caught and probably eventually not be able to close later. So on this side, you have one big pocket that goes all the way down and you have one, two, three, four. So these two in the front are a little smaller and then these two here are pretty like medium size. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the good news is you have four pockets here for your hooks. I think this bag is mostly made for the hook nook hooks. But yeah, the inside is made of like a really, feels like a really cheap, slick, kind of like polyester or something. Same thing, same concept with the Notions case. This is all felt, this is gonna get pretty dirty. I mean, you could probably get a, a nicer bag for cheaper than that. And the felt really just does not feel strong. It's very, I mean, that's good if you wanna save space, you can collapse this pretty easy, but it's really not a strong bag. Um, honestly, the th only thing that seems kind of legitimately crochet is that there are crochet hook holders here. That's it. The bottom part is very like flexible and flimsy. The maximum I would pay for this would probably be like $15. If I would have paid the full price for this for a review, I would be very extremely disappointed. The only reason I'm not disappointed is because I only paid $3 for it. Okay, so next is the Hook Nook Knitting Loom Set. It feels like really good quality. Pretty thick and sturdy feeling. Are they removable? Oh yeah, you can remove them. So these pegs, yes, they're all the same size. There's no difference in height. There's no difference in thickness. Basically all the same size. So you could interchange these. If you lost one of these, you could take one from the other one. So it comes with a lot of pegs, which is really good. So they should have done that here, I think. You know, gave you the option to choose what size of pegs you want. Just in case you want to make something a little bigger, um, a little bit longer. That way you kind of can decide that. So if I wanted to put a pink one in here, you can. And it's still just as hard to get out as it, the other one was. And these are actually very thick, super thick. I can't bend them. It's not easy to bend. They seem like they're going to be pretty sturdy. But so far that looks really pretty. I'm gonna test them out here in just a second. Okay, so I did a couple of rounds on here and it's actually pretty comfortable. This type of plastic that it's made of is very thick. I feel like it's, it can withstand a lot. I feel like the pegs are very sturdy. I haven't felt any of them move and the hook really isn't that bad. I feel like I'm, I can move pretty quickly. I haven't loom knitted in a long time, so don't judge me. It really actually feels pretty good. I don't feel like I'm getting any friction or traction on that. I feel like this is something that would be very fun and the colors are so vibrant. On the other hand, this, you know, the, the actual metal feels good. It feels like it's actually sturdy, but this is like super plasticky. You see the line on that? So it's actually kind of sharp right there and you can even see where they like had the molded plastic still there. Still a little bit sharp and honestly it just gives it a really cheap look, which this is $20 for the set, but for a $20 set, you really should have a little bit nicer grip. Darning needle is just a little bit flimsy, plasticky. I really liked it, it was interesting. So let's move on to the crochet hooks. So I only got two of these because they're a little bit expensive. They're like $10 each hook. This was about $7, so this, all together, just these three little items at the craft store, like $27. I'm going to start with the 5.5 millimeter. Oh my gosh, all this plastic. Well, I learned my lesson earlier. The resin is pretty clear. You can see lines on it. So you see the plastic lines on it? That's kind of cheap. You can feel them really bad too. The end has like a little thing that's on the bottom. Kind of looks plasticky and like cut off at a weird angle. The hook head is kind of plasticky too and it kind of curves in on like a hook angle. Kind of rounded on top, kind of like a short 
inline type hook but that rounded edge right here I don't think that's a good thing and then you can see on the back right here where it's glaring a little bit rough looking too there's that line I can feel it you can hear it listen I don't know how the yarn's gonna deal with that this type of ergonomic hook I don't know maybe some people would feel more comfortable like with the knife grip or maybe with the pencil grip because it has more openness around your thumb. I crochet like this where I kind of like hold my fingers on it and kind of move my fingers around to crochet. So the thickness of this is really uncomfortable. That little hook that's rounded right here on the tip, it's making me feel like it's not as easy to grab the yarn. But do you hear it pulling? I'm used to using the Susan Bates hooks, so this kind of not as comfortable as I would like. And pulling through the yarn is very strange feeling. It feels like I have to put a lot of effort into pulling through. I don't feel like those stitches look very even. <laughs> Basically, it, it worked okay. It wasn't the best crochet hook. Okay, so this is the six millimeter hook. It's blue. This one's a little more pale, kind of calming color. This also has a rounded type of hook. I don't know if you can see it. You can definitely see the the mold edging. It looks a little scratched up if you're just looking at it. Kind of scratchy. Same problems um, as the last one. You know, you can see these lines. I know that's going to pull on the yarn. You can see the line when you're looking at it like this. You can feel it. You can feel that plastic line. There's also a plastic line going around the center here. See it? Kind of like a scratch. Same thing on the end here, kind of like a rough plastic edge. It's just not a very attractive hook. These hooks are really not that pretty. From far away, you see this, you think, oh, that looks really nice. But when you get up close, you realize it's kind of cheap. This part here feels really fragile. If I dropped this from just a few feet, if it hit tile or maybe like hardwood or something, I feel like that would snap. It feels like really cheap plastic. Honestly, I'm not going to do that because I just paid $10 for these, but honestly, I feel like I could snap that if I pulled it hard enough. It's really kind of fragile. So let's test it out with the yarn. It feels kind of like it's a little bit too round at the top. It feels like I can't really go into the stitches. Um, I can move quickly, but... I feel like I'm moving kind of slow, honestly. You can try to move quicker, but I don't feel like my stitches are even. They, they might look it to you, but I don't feel like it. it's making me unhappy. I don't want to be an unhappy crocheter. That makes me sad. Okay, I'll just see how fast I can go in this last row with this hook. Ah, I keep catching because there's no thumb indention. That looks terrible to me. It still crochets. If you have nothing else, you can crochet with this. So for the end weaver, I have some ends here that I need to weave. You know what? The hook nook should go into making plastic products because they definitely have that down. It broke my brooch earlier and I can't even get through their plastic or their tape. Already, it looks really, really pretty. You can't really see. I mean, you can see the plastic edge on it kind of. It's kind of uncomfortable and annoying really pearlescent. Um, it has a really nice glossy finish to it and this metal feels really strong. So let me try to get a piece down here. But I just wanted to test this with this just to see if the tail weaver actually works. Okay so I bunched it up and now I have my little hook. So now I'm gonna trap my yarn and I'm gonna pull it through where it needs to go. Hey, that worked out pretty nice. You can't even see where that's at. Then you can just snip it. That's actually really not that bad. And that saves you needle threading time. I liked that. Yeah, actually compared to the hooks, this is probably the better product that I'm the most excited about. I can't wait to have this in my crochet set to actually take with me and use. Now we're ready for final thoughts. So first up, is the Hook Nook Project Bag. Original price is $40. I paid $3. Is this worth $40? It's fake leather that's really not that sturdy, doesn't feel that great. It's made of felt. The inside layer is like a really plasticky polyester type 
feel and having a small little rubber band tie, I would not at all spend $40 on this. It's just not worth it. Not worth your time or your money. Next is the Hook Nook Knitting Loom Set. I paid $10 for this. The original price was $20. These are very thick, high quality products. This is very thick. It's super hard. These pins are pretty hard to get out, but once you put them in, I feel like they're gonna stay there. So you can't change the thickness of the pins. They're all the same size, but they are interchangeable. You can take all of these out and put them in here if you wanted to make different colors for this. This was very cheap plastic. I feel like this hook feels pretty sturdy, but honestly, if you pushed on this a little too much, this little part here would break. But yes, I would recommend getting this for 20. If you can get it cheaper, it's even better of a deal. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the brooches and the pins. Okay, $10 each. So already, you guys saw earlier that just a small piece of plastic ended up ripping off the back part of the word brave right here. So it's strong and brave do apply to people that are makers and crocheters, but I would prefer to have the word crochet or the word knit. If I have the word brave on my knitting bag or my crochet bag, Really and honestly, no one's gonna know that that's a yarn bag and that I'm a crocheter. Not descriptive enough. The other thing is, is they're pretty cheap. That broke and I'm pretty sure if I just barely pushed on this a little bit. Yeah, look, it's bending already. Would I pay $10 for these? No. But these enamel pins are different. I really like them. They're very beautiful. They're thick, sturdy. I don't feel like this is gonna bend. The only downside is the back has plastic. This one was damaged a little bit, which is sad because this one was my favorite one, but I digress. These are worth the $10. Crochet is cool. Yarn addict. Those were all good. Okay. The two crochet hooks. Actually, I forgot to show you guys. They are printed right here. So for each of these hooks, I paid about $10 each. Honestly, if you like how the furls crochet hooks feel, the more ergonomic ones that are big and bulky, they do not have a thumb indention. But if you like those type of hooks, these will be perfect for you. The only thing is, is that they are cheaper made hooks. So you're gonna have that line. So you're gonna have a problem with that. It's a little rough around the neck where you pull a yarn in and out. The hook head is a little bit rounded. These hooks are not worth it. Maybe if they were $5 each, I could understand. The end weaver was very beautiful. I think those colors are so gorgeous. I don't know if you can actually tell on camera, but it's very pretty. A really pearlescent type color. And the metal is super thick and high grade. I, I would not be able to bend that. This was about $7. The end weaver is 100% worth your money. The notions kit. The original price of this was $20. I paid $3 for it. It's made of felt. Honestly, your scissors are very cheap plastic. The darning needles are okay. They're kind of bent on the edge, which is good for when you're trying to sew in your ends. The stitch markers, they're very beautiful looking. They match the set and the gold colors, but honestly, those are gonna be very irritating to work with. I don't really think those are as versatile as I would hope. And then this was actually my favorite thing out of the whole set. It's kind of like a fake leather. You can feel the button inside. I kind of get the feeling that after a few times of doing that, it might be a little slower to come back. They did a very nice job on this. And you have one spot here, I'm guessing for a crochet hook, but I don't see how it's gonna fit. I mean like, you'd have to put it like right in the middle. For $3, it's 100% worth it. For $20, it's 100% not worth it. I would say 10 at the max. So honestly, everything that I reviewed today, I'm very excited about still, even if some of it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. The Hook Nook brand is very beautiful. They have a lot of interesting products. Some of them are made very, very cheaply. You can tell that the product manufacturing is cheap. They didn't spend a lot of time thinking about things, I guess, and designing it. Even if they did spend a lot of time designing it, they didn't spend a lot of time thinking about how to manufacture it nicely and correctly. I feel like they missed out on an opportunity to be very high quality 
for crocheters that because the crochet community is so giant and wonderful they really missed out on that I hope you guys enjoyed the review I hope I wasn't too harsh but honestly I want to be as brutally honest as I can leave it a like if you agreed with anything I said in the video or you thought I had any good ideas Leave me a comment, please, because I love reading comments and it also gives me an idea of if I'm doing what you guys want. Lastly, subscribe. If you enjoyed anything and you want to see more content, it's very encouraging to me when I wake up in the morning and I have a new subscriber or I'm eating dinner and I get a notification that I have a new subscriber. It's wonderful and it makes me feel so happy inside that I'm making content that people actually want to watch and I'm excited for that and I'm so glad and thankful that you guys are supportive and you guys are also excited for it. And until next time, Crochet Critic out. We have to talk about something very serious today. Um. <laughs> it's okay to be addicted to crochet. No one's judging you. <laughs> More people should be addicted to crochet.